Fede, this is a real treat, man, getting to talk to you about Alien Romulus. Uh, we're here at Comic-Con, you had a great panel. Uh, my first question, uh, your movie is set between Alien and Aliens. Those are mm -hmm. two of the most iconic sci-fi horror movies ever. Talk to me about the challenge and the responsibility of putting your movie in that time frame. Um, the challenge is, I guess, is the fact that by, by placing ourselves between those two movies and wanted to make sure that it looked and feel like those movies, it also meant bringing back you know, old school practical effects that mm -hmm. not a lot of people do these days. So we need to go back and get actually the guys that work on those original films. So that were in the early 20s back then, and, and now they're, they're, the best at, 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 they're the best of the best in the practical effect world. And, and the, but that then comes to the hardest even part, which is to make sure it looks great, and make sure it's, uh, you buy every frame of it, and when the creature shows up, they're as terrifying as they can be. So that, that was definitely the biggest challenge. And, and, and the pressure, I think, goes away when you have the feeling that you're doing it the right way, which is the hard way, right? For the audience, you really have to go the hard way. You have to go the way that is more difficult on the day. That will, that will bring enormous challenge for everybody, the crew, the actors, everybody, like to just do techniques that some of them are being forgotten and people don't use anymore, so you have to relearn them. And so that really makes it extra difficult, but I think that's how you honor, you know, the passion and the love that the audience has for these movies and movies in general, right? So that, that, that takes the pressure away when you feel you're doing it the right way. Xenomorph to me is the most iconic of the modern uh, movie monsters. I, th I love Predator to death, but I don't think of Predator as a monster necessarily. I think of him as a, as a culture that they yeah, yeah, totally yeah. differently. Yeah. But the Xenomorph is a monster. Uh, talk to me about, was there, working with that creature, did it create nightmares for you and your cast? Like, I can't imagine working with the Xenomorph every day and not having nightmares. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, it just absolutely is one of the most terrifying things ever. And, and when you see it in person, absolutely, um, it's, it's even worse, you know, because <laughs> mostly it's the size of it, you know. Yeah. It, people forget about, about how big that thing is. So, you know, maybe with some of the movies it got smaller, but it, it is a big guy, right? Yeah. It's a big guy. It's like Yapeth Koto said in the first film, like, that thing is huge. <laughs> it is, One of my right? favorite parts. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and people forget about that. It's always, always something that would remind me of people when we started pre-production. Like, remember that line? Like, those guys, and Yapeth was a big guy. And he goes like that thing is huge, so that guy has to be massive, right? It's the size of a man, and uh, and and that. So in our movie, we brought that back, and so what we had it on set, it was like this big guy that was a towering up on top of you, and boy, what a sight! And um, and also threatening and terrifying because animatronics. Did they do what they do, right? So you flip the wrong switch, and they will slash their hands up, and you want to make sure you stay away from it. So it was it was threatening in its own way, just the fact that that it's a it's a living, breathing thing by being a machine, right? Can we expect more from you from uh, in this world? Hopefully, I, I would love this? to continue the story of these characters. Um, they're they're amazing characters. There's someone that um, I you know I hope we have the chance that they, some of them survived the movie, so we can make more, but we'll see. You have to see the movie to find out. Well, this has been fantastic. Thank you very much for taking a few minutes with me. I'm, of course. I can't wait for people to see this movie. <laughs> me too, believe me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for checking out the show. If you like what we're laying down, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to receive notifications for all of our latest stuff.